Hey all, Frozen Foxy here, bringing you a really quick video of, uh, I suppose, let's play more or less for a game called The Secret World. This is a uh, new MMO that's supposed to be about the end of the world, and it's uh, one of the few MMOs that has interested me. I'm going to do this as quickly as possible because, um, well, there's about 30 minutes left of the beta right now, and I just figured... I would go in here, show you what this uh, is all about, maybe get some people interested in playing The Secret World. I probably won't be able to show uh, all that much of it, but, you know, I figured I would just put it up here and go for it. Um, you guys can check out the videos. I'm just going to be uh, Illuminati immediately. And a male. I'm not going to... Uh, get too far into this, but I would like to look a little bit similar to myself, you know? Maybe that's just me. I'm, I'm kind of into that, uh, into that looking a little bit similar to myself kind of thing. There, good enough. I will go with that. Let's go. We'll name him, uh, Frozen, Frozen Foxy, and Foxy. There we go. Perfect. That should be good enough. Awesome. So hopefully we'll at least uh, be able to see some of the training in here. I've played a little bit of this already myself, and I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed what I have uh, experienced so far. It's like a firefly or something. Ew! Get that crap out of my mouth. Oh, that's nasty. <coughs> oh. This guy is buff as all hell. I certainly do not look like that. You know, I tried to make it look a little bit like me, but, uh... Wow. Someone's been bodybuilding. Also setting his clothing on fire. Probably not the wisest thing to do. This reminds me of Left for LOL. If anyone has watched that, they probably know what I'm talking about right now. Oh my god! Mexicans! Wait, what? Probably everyone who has not watched that is not gonna get that at all. Dude, seriously. Stop ruining the house. You're gonna have to clean that up later. You know you don't have enough money for a maid. All you, buddy. Two days later. Come on, bring it out. Oh, there it goes. Now we'd be juggling. Kind of slick. I'm surprised he hasn't cleaned up in all this time. I would have. Somebody's been bad. I approve. Mind if I come in? Time is ticking. So I'll cut it is ticking. Case. I work in talent acquisition, specializing in a highly unconventional sector for a very particular client. And they're particularly interested in your kind of talent. Cool. Picking stuff up, putting it back together, altering the fabric of space and time, basic thaumaturgy. My client is only skip this. in the back. Oh, I can. Good. I'm sick of watching that guy. Basically, he's trying to get us over to the Illuminati. 
that is all we need to know. You know, it's not that important to watch these cutscenes. It's not gameplay. There's a lot of loading screens in this game. But they're not so bad. I've, uh, I've experienced worse with uh, Thief 2 a long time ago when I was playing it. Did not do so well with Thief 2. That's nice. Let's get going. So yeah, there's a lot of people that are here messing around. We are going to uh, run and go as fast as we can. So basic gist of what we're doing is trying to find the Illuminati headquarters. Screw you. Don't even care. Now we're uh, proving that there's surveillance in here because the Illuminati watch everything. Those bastards. I'm just gonna run through this stuff as fast as possible. This is literally the uh, the beginning of the game that just basically tutors you on uh, on various things that don't really matter that much. A golden parachute without a parachute. That's um interesting. All right, random Illuminati symbol. Now there's a lot of these uh little glowing markery things that spin around. I don't think they're implemented yet. Um, you can go up and use them and then they'll disappear. I'll see if I can find one along the way. But um, they don't really do anything yet. So I'm going to try to avoid those things for the moment since they do not matter. Here's one of those glowing things, so I could technically go and use that. And it says something in the corner which I think says lore, but it doesn't do anything. Apparently we set off the alarms, but no one even cares. That's nice. Alright, so this guy is putting us under into a, uh, a dream state so we can get the, uh, the basics of how fighting works and stuff through someone else's body during um, it's all shut down. some really crappy warfare. Can Don't care. So anyway, we're in the body of a woman at the moment, which is kind of weird. Alright, we're going to accept this quest. Grab this shotgun because that's the quest. And now we are ready to start kicking ass. So we have a shotgun. So you can get a ton of different things in this game from shotguns to swords to magic. All sorts of things. Shotgun at this point happens to be my favorite. No! I can't tell what's going on. All right. So this is basically, I suppose, World of Warcraft with shotguns. Shotguns a lot more amusing than uh, anything in World of Warcraft. How many have they got in there? It's gone viral so fast. If this gets out into Tokyo, it doesn't. We stop also, the great thing about takes. these shotguns is uh, if you back up while you're shooting can actually uh, hit quite a few more of them all at once. Shotguns are really amazing. Great weapons. I'll probably grab a shotgun as the weapon that I'll use later on, just because it uh, allows me to move through the game a bit faster. Let's do this. Take it like all the other occult disasters, right? That's nice. So anyways, pretty fun game, quite enjoyable. I probably won't play this very much myself because obviously this is going to be an MMO style thing, which means that you're going to have to pay per month and all that kind of stuff, and I'm not big into that pay per month kind of thing. I used to do that a lot with uh, 
EverQuest 2, but I've gotten out of that lately. That's your plan? Well, it's a plan. You've got points, Sarah. Make every shot count. But I do highly recommend this game. It is a lot of fun to uh, to play. It is certainly worth it. Also remember, you can basically move around wherever you want while you're shooting your gun, so pretty cool feature here. I am probably going to end up dying because I am not, uh, not really paying too much attention to trying to survive right now, which is probably a bad idea. But I just wanted to show off as much of this game as I could, at least the gameplay before the uh, the beta thing is over. Over here. Come Listen, on. You have to find Zuberi. We'll hold them here. Zuberi, huh? All right. Let's go find Zuberi, whoever the hell that is. What's going on, buddy? Filthy mass. I highly recommend not standing immediately in front of these guys. Otherwise, you will end up uh, getting yourself killed. And that's never a good thing. To me, the, the thing that I like to use is uh, the main shotgun attack. And uh, the thing that we just received, number four. Because uh, what will happen is the main shotgun attack will build up an uh, extra powerful attack. The cavalry has arrived. And uh, then eventually you'll be able to unleash it. So now we're learning about healing and such. Part of the thing that they did for the beta was um, they add a cooldown to uh, to each of the quests, and the cooldown is like 17 hours. So they planned for not allowing people to get too far into the game during the beta. I think the game is technically considered complete at the moment. We must reach the next platform. Reach the next platform. So basically you can stick around and uh, fight these things for as long as you want but um, once these few first ones are gone then you just need to run out of here. Ah, shotgun. You are so awesome. Who wouldn't want a shotgun during the apocalypse? I mean, that is possibly one of the best items to have during an apocalyptic scenario. Also, if you're running low on health, don't target anyone, and you will target yourself when you uh, use the, uh, the health thing. Of course, I am targeting someone right now, so that is not working for me. There we go. Whoa now. These guys can certainly be a little bit dangerous if you let them get up in your face. There we go. The gate's opening. I think that's bad news. No, it's good news. That means I can continue on. They're not stopping. And they will not stop. This is all to hold us back. Top marks for effort. Don't so worry. Don't they aren't it. holding me back at all. Maybe all the time we have. This healing spell is way overpowered. They're probably going to nerf it. I would imagine anyway. What the hell? So apparently, uh, this is not a train station, it's a space station. Don't know what the hell is going on there. Maybe a side effect of the fact that we're not actually here, but it sure looks like uh, we're watching her looking at this rather than just ourselves. Wow, we look so geeky with those glasses on. I totally did not take those off. Whatever. Alright, just thought I would 
show that nice little piece there and move on from there. We probably are not going to get to see as much as I would like to show, which is really too bad. Don't care. Let's move along. All right, I want to at least try to uh, to manage to show the different weapons before this beta is uh, is out of here. We'll see if I manage to get to it. We're on the way. Uh, if I was going the correct way, it would be fantastic. I'm actually leaving the facility when I think I'm going the right way. I should pay attention to the marker, you know? That might help me out. This game really uh, force feeds you everything, though. I'm not sure if I really like that. A little too much force feeding. Enjoyable game, though. If you haven't tried this out yet, I highly recommend it. So this guy is basically the uh, El Toro Mexican weapon trainer. He likes uh, putting on a show and letting you know that he's uh, he's into the weapons training. It took me a while to figure out that I needed to actually equip the item out of my pack because no one ever actually said anything about um, about things being in my pack. Anyways, this is uh, blood magery stuff here. And uh, he's talking about them, but we are not going to let him talk about it too much. He's also got uh, chaos magic here, which is uh, is pretty awesome. This This probably does the most damage the fastest out of everything in my opinion. So it's it's uh, pretty nice stuff. <laughs> We're gonna be hearing him uh, talking in the background a lot. This is uh, elemental stuff which uh, does have ice powers so I would probably go after this if I was uh, really playing this but right now right now I'm just showing off stuff and uh, blazing on through. We're not gonna show that off just yet. I think we've got like nine minutes before this beta is over, so enjoy while uh, while we're watching here, but we're not going to see much of this for uh, very much longer here. So we've got the hammer here. The hammer is like the shotgun of the melee weapons, or the uh, melee weapons. Fist weapons are nice and fast. And they kick ass. Kind of like the, uh, the Garrett weapon. So they're, they're pretty awesome. And you can also see you build up uh, quite a lot of stuff uh, really quick here to, uh, to attack harder, which is nice. Let's go ahead and switch to this blade thing. I do not want to drop it. There we go. So blade is a little bit slower than the claws, but uh, it does a lot more damage, so... The blade can really be a good weapon to have, but uh, once again, we're not going for uh, melee weapons at the moment. We're actually going to be going for guns. I'm going to go for the shotgun last because that's going to be the one I'm going to take. just want to show off as many of these as I can first. So some of these things you might notice actually have to build up before you can use, uh, use them. So you have to use either one of these things or uh, one of your other skills which will uh, build it up over a little while. So it's kind of an interesting mechanic to uh, to attack in this game. Assault rifles are pretty cool because they're uh, they're the long range stuff and they can uh, spray all over the place. Pretty cool. Shotgun, obviously a uh, fairly short range thing. I'm actually going to equip the rest of these things since 
I'm going to be keeping this particular gear. But uh, shotgun will allow you to hit quite a few different things in front of you. And then you also get the, uh, the skull attack. You'll note uh, when I'm aiming at something, it actually uh, fills up every time I'm shooting. And uh, once it gets to five, that's the maximum. And you can unload the entire thing on them. Pretty awesome little weapon. We are done here. This is the company line. You will use it to maintain contact in the field. Do you understand? Oh, yeah, company line. That is all. Let's grab this phone because he wants us to have the company line. And let's get out of here. I obviously don't remember everything because I was playing this for a, uh, a good long while. Come on. You're not going to let me exit the test chamber? There we go. I don't know what was going on there. This game does have a few glitches here and there as far as I know. So it's it's not perfect. Especially um, if they're thinking that this is going to be the final product. I think that this really needs to uh, to have a little bit more work done on it. To make sure that uh, the final product is uh, is clean and so forth. Anyways, over time you're going to get experience which is going to uh, to open up this stuff where you can get uh, extra shotgun skills and uh, so forth and upgrade your character. You also have an ability will which will uh, which will open a whole bunch more things. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up this. Get some extra damage to two targets with shotguns, which I think is nice. Go ahead and exit out of that. I'm going to just show this because, you know, it's here. So basically, you grab it, it disappears, and you see something, a little tiny thing that looks like it says lore. I think that's supposed to be uh, something that opens up different lore to you. This woman is really weird. No, I don't. I'm I'm not into hip hop. Sorry, that's not my thing. Maybe it's your thing, but not so much me. All right, so now we can get out of here since we're done with this stuff. Okay. Oh, beta weekend is ending in two minutes. I hope you've all. Uh, enjoyed this little bit of uh, what I was showing you here I think I probably uh, went the incorrect way don't know but um this is a pretty fun game I, I highly recommend at least going to try it out if you can just for the fact that it uh, it's fun I don't know if they're going to have uh, any further beta weekends or anything like that but um, it's enjoyable. Definitely check it out. I don't really like World of Warcraft, but this game, this game is quite enjoyable. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Hope you've all enjoyed this uh, quick look at the secret world. I may pick this up myself, but uh, highly doubtful because it costs money per month, and I'm I'm usually not into that. But anyways, hope you've all enjoyed. Bye for now, everyone.